Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to add web app link to Windows 10 device with Microsoft Intune. Intune supports a variety of app types including web apps. A web app is a client server application. The server provides the web app which includes the user interface, content and functionality. Additionally, modern web hosting platforms commonly offer security, load balancing and other benefits. A web app is separately maintained on the web. We can use Microsoft Intune to point to this app type. We can also assign the groups of users that can access this app. Before we can manage and assign an app for our users, we need to add the app to Intune. Intune creates a shortcut to the web app on the user's device. For Windows devices, a shortcut to the web app is placed on the Start menu. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Apps. Under By Platform, click on Windows. Click on Add. Click on drop down arrow to select app type. In the select app type pen, under the available other types, select web link. Click select. Enter the name of the app as it is to be displayed in company portal. We will give name MSF webcast blogs. Then enter a description. Here we are entering description. Click on this web link to visit MSF Webcast Blogs. We will type MSFT Webcast as the name of the publisher of this app. Enter the URL of the website that hosts the app that you want to assign. Let me specify the URL as DPS call in double slash www.msftwebcast.com. Use require a managed browser to open this link option to assign to our users a link to a website or web app that they can open in the Intune managed browser. This browser must be installed on the device. Optionally, we can select one or more of the built-in app categories or category that we created. To select that category, we need to click on this drop down arrow. Okay? Selecting category makes it easier for users to find the app when they browse the company portal app. We can use show this as a featured app in the company portal option to display the app shoot prominently on the main page of the company portal when users browse for applications. Upload an icon that will be associated with the application. Click on Select Image. Click on Select a File. Select your logo file. In my case, I'm going to select logo for my website. OK. The icon is displayed with the app when users browse the company portal app. So logo is here. Click next. I have explained all the options related to assignments in the last video, so I'm not going to discuss it again. But this time, we'll go with required assignment type option to install the web app on Android device automatically. Under required, click on add groups. From the list, we will select our grouped test users. Click on select and click next. 
Preview the values and settings we entered for the app. When you are done, click on create to add the app to Intune. Wait for confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message. Application MSFT Webcast Blogs created successfully. The overview blade of the app we have created is displayed. Let's go to a Windows 10 device. On this Windows 10 device, we have signed in with the Taste User Once user account, which is a member of our group to taste users. We will perform the manual sync with Intune. Click on Info and click on Sync to start the sync process. Okay, sync is completed. Let's restart this Windows 10 device. After restart, let's again assign in to this Windows 10 device. Click on Start button. Scroll down. And we can see the web app link for MSFT webcast blogs. Let's click on it. The published web URL is opened directly in the web browser. In our case, this will open the website amaseptivwebcast.com. Let's open Company Portal app. On Company Portal app, click on Downloads and Updates. Under Installed Apps, we can see the web app Amaseptive Webcast Blogs. Since this time we have used required assignment type, we can see yes for required by your organization. That means we have successfully deployed the web app on Windows 10 device using Intune. Let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager web interface. Uh, let me click on Windows Apps. Click on Refresh. And let me initiate the sync as well. Uh, click on settings and click on sync. Okay. Uh, click on refresh again. Click on MSFT webcast blogs. And the monitor, click on device install status. Here we can see the name of our Windows 10 device, lab win 10 CLI02. We can see the username is also there and status is installed. We can check the same thing for user install status as well. Okay, install is one. Uh, let me click on our device name, which is uh, labwin10-cli02. Uh, I think we need to click on devices. Click on all devices. Uh, click on labwin10-cli02. On the monitor, click on manage apps. Uh, in the last video, I forgot to show you the status of that app installation, uh, which we can uh, check from Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. So here we can see uh, the information about the application, which we have deployed in the last video. Now we can see installation status is installed and we can check the same thing for MSFT webcast blocks. Uh, here we can see we have choose required option during the deployment. So that's why we can see required install. Uh, let me click on it. And here we can see uh, the information that when application was created, when application was assigned, and we can see the installation completed a status time as well. So from this, uh, we can say we have successfully deployed the web app on Windows 10 device using Microsoft Intune. So that's all for this video on how to add web app link to Windows 10 device with Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.